All right, here we go. We're going into the artist palette. So this is where we eat breakfast. There's just a quick service location. So Greg's going to give us a little bit of a tour before we start off our day. spinning breakfast and how it works here is you walk in and you place your order over here by the queue um, and they give you one of these slips which you then take to the counter or the cashier and they check you out and they give you like a little uh, like waiting number yeah, like, thing. A, like a restaurant buzzer. yeah um, and so we got the or I got Greg didn't get anything. Uh, the Mickey waffles with bacon. So it's three Mickey waffles, two slices of bacon, maple syrup, and a coffee. And that total was originally twelve fifty five. But we also had the tables in Wonderland, so we got a couple bucks off, and that got us to ten dollars and four cents. So if you guys are thinking that you're staying here, this is approximately how much it would be to have Mickey waffles with bacon and so it is just past eight o'clock and I have my coffee. Which is great. It is a cool day in Florida. It's not even supposed to reach 60. So sweatshirt and jeaning it. That's okay, we're gonna be walking around the park, so I'm gonna notice the cold. Um, so our plan today is to hit up Hollywood Studios this morning and hopefully check out Toy Story Land. Uh, ride a couple rides. Maybe try to see a show, and then we're gonna try to get into Via Napoli for lunch around 11. Um, and then do some stuff at Epcot, come back, shower, change. We have dinner reservations at Shula's at 5.15. So we're walking to one of the many, many stops here at Saratoga. Since we ate at the main building, we're gonna use the main um, bus area. The bus stop has just like, I think I told you guys, there's like six or seven here. Come on in, all the way down, up the stairs. It says we have 13 minutes to the bus. Yeah. Because this construction, um, which is meant for the skyline, all the way up, so you can see what it is. You can see the, the tiers over there that I'm guessing are coming from Port Orleans, and then maybe these are from Art. Um, yeah, super high up. Look at that. I definitely don't want you to see what's going on in there.
So that was crazy. Yeah. Yeah. So the bag lines were insane, and then uh, the, I got some decorations carried, which is always fun. But we are through now. We're gonna go, hopefully, get through with our magic bands. Which this this doesn't seem to be. That's what it said. Did your finger last time for that? What finger here? Yeah. If you want to try your I'll, I'll, I'll help her out with you. All right, cowgirl. Nine a.m. Maybe they have it locked up. Uh, yeah, maybe it was like that time. Yeah. Okay. Miss the hat a little bit. This is a great center location for everything. Every picture we take is me, mom, and you two guys are going to get all going. Got it? So our first stop is going to be, we're going to go check out Toy Story Land. Here we go guys. Slinky Dog Dash is already 65 minutes long, which right there, standby is already there for Slinky Dog Dash, and the park's not even officially open yet, so that's crazy. Yeah. So they actually had to take the tails off of Slinky Dog Dash. We read this in the article because it was making so much noise. It was scaring the people and the kids, and they thought that the ride was coming apart. So if you go on the Slinky Dog Dash now, there's no tail on Slinky. Come on in and let's have ourselves a root tootin' good time. Yeah. So when Greg and I got married in Disney, two days afterwards, oh my god, standby for Twister Mania is five minutes. So cool. Standby for So when we had our, our specialty pictures at Hollywood Studios two days after the wedding, we came backstage here and got to see all the construction. They were halfway through building Cindy Dog Dash, and it was so cool. Yep, they're coming. To watch. They had Star yeah, it was insane. We actually drove back behind Star Wars Land too, and it was so cool. One of the perks of getting married at Disney. Sometimes you get behind the scenes tours, and our photographer was so awesomely funny. We, we loved him. So, this is the new entrance to Toy Story Mania. So, just to bring those. Everybody who comes wants to go on some dog dash. That's cute. Understandably so, because it's the new ride. But for those of us that aren't entirely feeling up to doing roller co coasters, um, Mr. Mr. Mania used to be hour wait by the time you got here. Now it's five minutes. So this is the new part of the entrance, which then ties into the old building. Midway made it, y'all. How can we make it any mania? So come on, pal, and step right up. Make some noise. Time to play along with all the toys. You know your life will never be mundane, yeah? When you play Midway Mania. This door. Ready to? Maybe on number four, please. Thank you. You ready? Four. Is my 
your hair so crazy? getting a bit crazy so we're we're gonna venture off and try to maybe do star tours and go to the launch bay since star wars is one of our favorite things so excited for galaxy's edge to open in late 2019 no release date yet you know it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be crazy it's gonna be the crowds from Toy Story Land will be no more. And when that happens, that'll be when we go on the Slinky Dog Dash. Yeah. <laughs> but we'd rather walk around and take in Disney because we're only here for a couple of days. And see all the sights that we know we love. But everything else seemed like less than a 15 minute wait, so why not try to get on Star Tours? Is Chenny's Theater, which used to be the great movie ride. Pretty sure we got the last pictures in there. We were one of the last couples to get our picture outside and inside of the great movie ride from our wedding. Aww. Miss you, great movie ride. I really hope this Mickey Toon Cart is good because the great yeah. movie ride was one of my all time favorite rides. So when they got rid of it, it broke my heart. Absolutely devastated. If anyone from Disney, if an Imagineer, or anybody from Disney is watching this video, you guys really need to do a nostalgia park. Retro park. A retro park. With rides from the old days, like Mr. Toad's Wild Ride, and the Great Movie Ride, and Horizons, and all that great stuff that went away. And I'm not saying great stuff didn't come in afterwards, but those of us that have been coming here for 26 years miss those rides. And we want to share those experiences with our kids and for people like my Disney aunt who has been going to Disney for 40 some odd years, she would be more inclined to come back over and over again if those classic rides that she loved growing up were still available to be ridden. And it, it could be as cool as you have a simulation of the old Star Tours in this vintage park. It would be great. I love Disney, I do. But when you guys get rid of the stuff that I love even more, it breaks my heart a little bit. And you know, Horizons went away and Soren came in and I, Soren is a great ride. But I do miss Horizons. I miss the orange smell. That was really what it was. It was the, the citrus. End of, end of yeah. And Mr. Toad's Wild Ride I used to love as a kid. And I, I'm the biggest Winnie the Pooh fan. So I love that Winnie Pooh came in. I don't know. But please, if anybody from the Disney Imagineer Works Innovations Department, Retro Park, so needed. You could call it Disney's Old Adventureland. I'm gonna stop. I'm gonna get off my soapbox now because we're gonna go on Star Tours. Star Tours! So right here is where the famous wedding photo was. Alright, we head over to the launch bay. Yeah. Check out that stuff. Too much. To be 
honest, I was kind of falling asleep. Parts. Yeah. I mean, we watched it like pretty late, but there's no suspense because you know who's gonna live because you're gonna see everything else beforehand. And I would argue that you should watch it the way it came out because that's how all the surprises are written into it. Yeah. I mean, maybe there's one way to watch it where once everything's out, you can pick, choose what goes where based on. You know what spoilers there are for other movies. Yeah, and there's where they do the dessert party, the Star Wars dessert party. If you ever interested, they block off this entire area. There's high tops. There's um, regular tables. There's desserts, and then there's drinks. And stormtroopers that walk around and they escort you to the designated area for um, for the fireworks. So we're pretty much done at Hollywood Studios. We're gonna use the My Disney Experience app to see if we can change some of our fast passes. So you basically go to see all plans, and then you click on the fast pass you wanna change. And we're gonna modify and see if we can get it earlier or a different attraction earlier. Let's see if we can get something at 10.30. Can't get until 3.15. Yeah, I imagine most of them are pretty much booked. Pretty much booked. So, so we'll... You never know. You never know. So we'll, we'll just hit the morning and see if anything comes up. 3 p.m., 6.30, 10.20, 4.40. There we go. So let's let's actually go back to Soren because that's the one we really want the fast bus for. Click on it. There's nothing earlier for Soren. Soren. That's true. What's actually nice now is that there's a short story in there. So we'll always be right. Yeah. A lot of the crowd that's normally here. I just miss the, the great stuff. movie ride. It's like if you've never been before, that literally. Now is like the best time to come. Yeah, it's if it, you've never come before and you're not a big Star Wars fan. Right. If if you've never done Hollywood Studios or you've never done Disney before and you want to do and you're not a big Star Wars fan, now would be a great time to come because it's before the Star Wars hype. The little kids are all being drawn towards. Um, the Pixar Toy Story Land. So there's nobody waiting in line for rock and roller coasters. Where's where's Buddy's Where's Buddy's Where's Buddy's Where's Buddy's So we're looking for dog toys because we just got these Star Wars balls for Christmas. And we got three of them. And both dogs love them, so there's clearly not enough to go around. And Gus seems tends to lose all his money to his here, here, or go hide them from each other. I don't see any in here, so I'll probably have to hit up Magic Kingdom. Yeah. Right. They will be cheap. And if Magic Kingdom doesn't have them, they're getting whatever dog toys we find. It's another quick trick for those of you who haven't done Disney before. When you're leaving the park, if you look and you see that the main aisle stores are empty, take them through to the end. Um, so we just bypass the whole crowd that was just by walking through the store to get to the exit. You can do this Magic Kingdom. You can do it at Hollywood Studios, uh, Animal Kingdom, and Magic Kingdom. Or Animal Kingdom and Epcot, you can't really do it. But Magic Kingdom and Hollywood Studios, for sure, you can do it. Um, so we're either going to walk or take the boat.